two. Hello everyone, Janet Legere here, and it is my honor and privilege, along with my partner Dawn, to be your hosts each week for our CLB Learning Training Calls, where our focus is to help you learn to build your list and make money online. That is the focus of, it should be the focus of everybody's business and everything you're doing here on the internet. If you're looking to make money online, that's it. That's the secret, guys. Okay, that's it. The call's over. I let the secret out of the bag. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Light crowd, that's okay. Sometimes people pop in here right at the hour, but uh, I'm excited to do the the uh, to record this webinar uh, to get this information out there about our new plugin on our blog. So we're gonna start with a little bit of an uh, overview. Did a bit. Of, oh man, I'm having a tongue twist today. Hang on, let me refresh. There we go. We're going to talk a bit about who Don and I are, where we came from, how we got to be here. Then we'll get into a bit about what CLB learning is and how it works. I think it's good to always do an overview of that. Sometimes people forget how simple CLB really is and how important. And uh, <laughs> you guys are hilarious. We're going to do some team recognition. It's been a very busy month here at CLB Learning. Pretty awesome. And then we're going to get into our training and talk about the blog. If you don't have a blog, you'll learn how to get one. Uh, we do have a blogging platform here at CLB Learning. And uh, we've just added a new plugin that will help you monetize your blog. So we're going to go over that. We'll also do a blog post, show you how to create a blog post and get it out there. Pardon me. See, the water's making me burp now. <laughs> ah. So who the heck are Janet and Don Legere? Well, we're a very fun-loving couple. Fun is our middle name. We met online back in 1998. And in 1999, we found ourselves with the opportunity to be out of the corporate world and venture into the internet world. And we jumped, we jumped at it. We both loved technology. We both loved being together. And that was, count it, going on 22 years ago. Craziness. Over that time, we've had great success in network marketing and affiliate marketing and everything we touched turned to gold. And it's uh, pretty important to know why. And does anyone know who wants to tell me why we have success wherever we go? Anybody want to put their hand up? Come on. Somebody knows the answer. <laughs> Our passion lies in helping others learn to master a, very, a few very simple strategies to create success in your own business. No, it's not consistency at all. Although I am fairly consistent at what I do, but it's that's exactly it. Joe hit the nail on the head. I have a list. I started building a list very early on in our, our career here on the internet. Um, I started using technology much like this almost from day one. Um, it was a hear me technology. We had, it had voice and chat. There was no PowerPoint presentation, but you could talk to people from around the world and they could uh, text chat back and forth. It was pretty advanced and pretty cool back then. And I had a guest speaker on one of our calls and I remember the advice he gave was that no matter what you're doing, uh, whether you're really focused on a business on the internet or not, you should focus some time every day on adding to your list continuously, always, no matter what, no matter what business you're building. And let's face it, we've all been in different businesses over the years. I can't even count how many businesses we've been in over the last 20 some years. It's been a lot. But the truth is, no matter what I'm doing, I'm focused on building my list. That's number one. And back in 2003, when our main business that we were in shut its doors. We went from earning a full-time income to no income overnight and uh, being an accountant. I went back to work for a little while and it was a very little while. I was back home where I wanted to be within three months because I knew within a few weeks that this was not going to work for me. And I looked around and realized I had everything I needed to make all of this work. That if I taught other people how to build their list, how to use the tools and resources that I was using, we could all grow together. And magic happened. It really did. I created my first ebook called the Contact List Builder ebook. It was a rebrandable ebook. So the members who purchased my ebook could have that ebook rebranded with all of their affiliate links. Sound familiar? That was, if you count it, 18 years ago, 
that I wrote that first ebook, created a rebranded ebook, and it was way ahead of its time. Uh, nowadays, we call those downline builders, and CLB Learning has one of the best downline builders that I've seen out there. So it's a, a pretty incredible program. We've really grown into a community of like-minded individuals working together to make this work. And I have to tell you, over the years, not much have changed. I spend my time, my focus on my advertising, everything I'm doing there is to get people on my list, to get people to subscribe to my list, get them into my funnel. The only thing that has changed over the years is the tools and resources or are the tools and resources that we use to do that. Would you guys agree? I mean, that it's advertising to get somebody to go to a page to fill out the form to get on your list. That's what I've been doing for 18 years. It is what's helped build my business because I have spent time connecting and communicating with the people that get on my list. And that's how it happens. Is it gonna take you 20 years to make this work? Heck no. I have to tell you that 20 years ago, we certainly didn't have the automation that we have these days. We didn't have the tools and resources we have these days. We didn't have half of what we have nowadays. And we certainly didn't have the number one thing that everybody needs. And that is the right training and the right direction to make this work for you. And I'm happy to say that we have that here at CLB Learning. We are a training and mentoring program about what What I have gotten involved in and what I'm willing to put my name behind and you guys can probably tell by some of the changes that we've made and I'm really excited that we've grouped together uh, a, a group of powerful individuals who all have the same goal in mind and that is to help you grow your business here on the internet. So stay tuned guys, there's lots coming. So how exactly does this work? Well, it's not magic, all right? and whether it's the CLB funnel or any funnel you're using, this is the process, okay? You're gonna set up your funnel at CLB Learning. We give you all the codes to do that. We use the conversion pros. It's a very simple process, doesn't take hardly any time at all. I also offer a done for you setup service. Once that's done, once you have your uh, funnel set up, now you just need to send traffic to your funnel. Well, we make that simple for you here as well. We use the Traffic Least Income Traffic Co-op, which is phenomenal, gives consistent results month after month after month, and it's very affordable. If you don't understand what a co-op is, uh, stay tuned. You'll learn more as you become closer involved at CLB Learning. Udemy Solo Ads is one of my main sources of continued um, new members. I use them continuously. I like that it's affordable. I like that I have recourse if my solo ad uh, does not produce the way I expect it to. And I have expectations when I sent a solo ad and I have my minimums that I know my capture page is going to produce. And so if I don't see that from a solo provider, I know that their traffic is really not destined for what I'm looking for. And so then I have to move on. Viral mailers are another for <laughs> source of traffic. Uh, we happen to own four of them. We have some of the best viral mailers included for you in our downline builder. If you start there, it's a great place to start. Now, 
I just want to take a moment to say something about viral mailers because if you've not ever used them before, if you're fairly new to viral mailers, you really need to take your time with them and think carefully about them. I've been using them since about 2000 is I think when the first safe list came out. It was called Hercules. It's still around today. And the mailers that came out after that, a lot of them I'm, are still around and I'm still a member of and they have great memberships and they have great um, conversions. I get conversions all the time from viral mailers. However, okay, it takes time to find good viral mailers. It takes time to collect a, a group of viral mailers. We offer you lots of places where you can find those. But just think about it, that's a lot of programs you have to join, that's a lot of setting up, a lot of organizing, and a lot of managing. So be forewarned, all right, it's not a light task, it does produce results over time. My best advice is to find the funds to invest in either the Traffic Co-op or Udemy Solo Ads, maybe a little bit of both. So it'd be nice if you could get a share in the co-op that ran month after month without you thinking. And then as you have the budget, you purchase a solo ad at Udemy. So I hope that helps you guys. So once you're, you get that traffic going, now you're gonna generate subscribers. These are your subscribers, they're on your list, nobody else sees them, they're yours. You can email them about anything and everything you're doing here on the internet or personally, whatever you want to do. They're yours, okay? This is the golden magic. That's the the, egg, the chicken that laid the golden egg. There's That's your golden egg right there. We're, we're laying lots of them. But once they become a subscriber, they're redirected to what we call our thank you page, or some call it a bridge page. And here they learn about CLB Learning. They'll either see a video with a, a replay of our webinar, or they'll have your personal video, which we recommend and they'll be directed to get their free account here at CLB Learning and who wouldn't want to get a free account? I get a very high um, turnover of people that from my leads to new members uh, through our funnel. Now once they become a member at CLB Learning that's when the real magic happens because that's when I take over. I follow up with them. I'm following up them through the system. I'm inviting them to our webinars. I'm inviting them to follow our, our plan and I'm inviting them to follow the system and do their setup. When I send an email from the system and I include any of the programs in our downline builder, they are going to receive your link in their email. Well, who thinks that's pretty cool? I do. Okay, I call that downline integrity. So as long as you have filled out the downline builder inside CLB Learning, you know that when I send an email to all of the CLB members and I'm talking about the Traffic Lease Income Co-op and I put the link to Traffic Lease Income Viral Mailer, hopefully you fill out the downline builder and they're going to get your link and sign up under you. So I think that's pretty incredible. Uh, when they become a new member, they log into the back office, they're encouraged to do exactly that, to download the Quick Start Guide, go through the downline builder, sign up in the programs that are a part of what we use to build our funnel and to get our leads. Isn't it? It's magical. All right, it really is. So once your new member joins the programs in the downline builder, if they upgrade, mm -hmm, you're gonna earn a commission. You'll also earn a commission if they upgrade in CLB Learning. And most importantly, we're also recommending and sharing with them your primary business, whatever business you want to share with your members in CLB Learning, you can do that through our Downline Builder. And that is another thing that I think is pretty incredible. Three basic steps. This is not magic. There's no, you know, I could, there are other leaders out there that will tell you that this is a secret and that, you know, there's a magic formula to making this work online. And, you know, there's certainly a lot of things you need to do to finesse and get things, you know, flowing like a wild old machine. But these are the three steps you need. You need a funnel, you need a good funnel. You need to advertise your capture page, advertise that funnel, and you need to follow up and follow through. That's it. Three steps. Whether that's with the CLB funnel or if you're in GLN, which is our high ticket item in CLB learning, and you're promoting that, you're doing the same thing. You're promoting your your funnel, your capture page. You, you better be, okay? Because if you're promoting any other way, we need to talk because you're, you just, you're wasting your time and your money. You need to have that flow of the capture page to a landing page. And the reason for that is, and I'm gonna explain it very quickly, the capture page, 
You can direct them to anything you want, all right? You're, you're getting them on your list, you can follow up with them. But if you send them directly to your affiliate program or the program that you're promoting, you may lose them. When you send them to a landing page, now you have their attention. They can watch the video that you have there or not. They can look at the other information that's there. But what's most important, they're gonna see you. They're gonna see your picture, hopefully. You've put your picture on there. They're gonna see your name, your contact information, and they're gonna understand that this is real. They're gonna feel a little bit of that no like and trust factor starts to happen. It's like, oh, look at uh, Dusty, he's a real person. I might, I might have to have a little more serious look at this. Look at this, looks like real stuff here. And I can tell you that it's, it makes a difference when you do that, all right? So if you are advertising an affiliate program directly or you have a capture page set up but you're redirecting them to a, a, an affiliate page or you're using a company affiliate page, we need to talk because the way to make this work is to do this what seems like the long about way but it is the way that works and it's the way that you're going to get sales that continue over and over again. Right now I want to take a moment and a big shout out to our members who've been sponsoring this month. It's been a, a pretty awesome month. I know Munawar is a brand new lifetime member here at CLB Learning and guess what he did? He set up his funnel and he, well actually he signed up as a lifetime member. I set up his funnel because that is included as a lifetime member. I set up his funnel. He went and purchased some traffic and sponsored 35 new members into CLB Learning. Who here thinks that's pretty incredible? Isn't that awesome? Are you unable to, Joe seems to be having some challenges there. Don, maybe you can help him. Isn't that incredible? Elizabeth Ramsack has her her uh, capture page out on viral mailers and uh, that's, she sponsored 14 new members into CLB Learning. Pretty cool. Darla Key has a, a small solo out run running out there and I know that she's advertising seven new members. Karen Gates, way to go Karen, with five new members. Uh, Steve Ackerman with four, Wayne Randall with three, Motas Ruluka with two, and Dusty Staggs, way to go Dusty, with one. You guys are awesome. You guys are totally awesome and thank you. Because this is the stepping stone to everything you're doing here online. Bringing people in through here so that we can take them by the hand, teach them the basics, teach them those things they need to know, get them to focus. Yeah, focus is important, isn't it? I mean, it's, let's face it, that's where it all goes wrong. <laughs> That's where it all goes wrong. Everybody loses focus. They get, they see the new shiny object and off they're gone. <sighs> well, here we are into the training part of our, our call today. We're going to be talking about the CLB blogging platform. I'm going to go through a little bit about what the blogging platform is, how you get access to it, um, how to register. And I forgot to change this. We're not going to be talking about creating a resource page. I am going to show you how to write a blog post. Uh, keep it very simple. I, I get a lot of people when, when I talk about having a blog and their first response to me is, anybody want to guess? What do they say when I talk about blogging and, and writing a blog post? You need to write a blog post. I always tell you you have to call. What's the first thing people say? Most people. What do you think? Anybody? That's exactly right, Justy. Dusty, I don't know how to write. I'm no good at writing. Yeah, I do not know what to write. That's either I don't know what to write, I don't know how to write, I'm not a good writer. That's all I gotta say, okay? <laughs> I'm a keep it simple girl, all right? Here, here's the truth, guys. You don't need to be an award-winning author to write a blog post, to start getting content on your blog. This isn't about... I just want to get something very clear here, all right? With the CLB blog, I mean, if you're an experienced blogger, you can do all kinds of magical things with your CLB blog. If you're new at blogging, it's really just about getting content out there on your blog and sharing your blog, getting your blog out there so people get to know you. That's what this is about. It's just people getting to know the real Lily. Oh, look, Lily wrote another blog post. Wow, that's pretty cool. She can do that. Let me tell you something, guys, okay? 99% of the people out there, are, they're not blogging. They don't have a blog. They don't know how to do a blog. And they're going to see that you're doing it and you look like a real person. Wow. Well, maybe if Lily can do it, I can do it too. What do you think? Oh, well, that sounds like a blog post. If I can do it, you can do it too. Hey, there's everybody gets 
wanting to know what they're going to write about. And uh, there's a never-ending list of topics here at CLB Learning, so don't worry about what you're going to write about. So what exactly is a blog? Well, if you've never had one, it's simply a web log. It's a place where you can do whatever you want. You can talk about your passion. You can write about your hobbies. You can write about your grandchildren. You can write about your vacations. You can write about business. Whatever you want. That's what a blog is about. It's about you sharing something, you sharing information. So whatever whatever that is for you. At CLB Learning, we're going to show you how to use your blog in your business. All right. Now, if you want to take your CLB blog and simply use it as a personal blog where you can have like a, a daily journal, whatever, uh, where you're posting family things, that's cool too. There's nothing wrong with that. Our focus here is more going to be on the business side. All right. So the CLB blogging platform is a personal blog set up on our contactlistbuilder.com website. Now, I just want to say something here because today we're going to be talking about a plugin it's a plugin that uses AdSense, which is what I was really excited about because I thought because somebody had asked me about monetizing our blogs. And so I looked into the plugins that were available and saw this pretty cool plugin. But because we are a networked blog, which means your blog is going to be contactlistbuilder.com forward slash something, whatever username you pick or whatever name you pick for that folder. And because of that, we can't really set up AdSense to work through the networked blog. I hope that makes sense to you guys. But there's other ways to monetize your blog, so don't don't worry. And I'm really hoping that we've got some experienced bloggers out there who can look at the plugin and play with the blog and go, hey, I figured it out. That would be awesome. So this is what the basic blog looks like. Uh, this is what your blog is going to look like when you get it. It's going to say list building with your name. So this would say list building with Dusty Staggs or list building with James Lawrence or list building with Joe Gal Galagos. Okay. Under there is the very first blog post that says, welcome to my contact list builder marketing blog. That blog or that post is written for you. Uh, we do change it and put your name in there. And there's a link on that page that goes to your CLB Learning Affiliate page. At the top, you'll see who we are and what we do. That is a page that uh, tells your visitor about Don and I and CLB Learning, how we got here, what we do. Uh, Get Started with CLB is a link to directly to your CLB Affiliate page. All right, so there's lots of ways here that people can get connected to CLB Learning. Uh, from here, you can create and use your blog however you wish. So who has access to our CLB Learning blog? Well, sad to say, it is available only to our upgraded members here at CLB Learning. Uh, we do have affordable options for upgrading at CLB Learning. And right now we have an incredible offer for a lifetime membership for $97. Okay, so this is going to end at the end of the month, which is in three days. So on Sunday, this offer ends. We have till midnight on Sunday to grab this for $97. It gives you full access to uh, everything we're doing here at CLB Learning and access to our CLB Learning blog. So you'll get that blog. You have full access to use it as you wish and away you go. Um, what is it you want, Lily? I do, but you are a, a lifetime member here. <laughs> yep, that's what you are, my friend. So as a lifetime member, you come into the back office and you will see a, um, a new link there that says Upgraded Membership Bonuses. And on that page, there is a link to sign up for your blog. So you're going to fill out a form that asks for your name, email, username, and your CLB ID number. Okay, so you're going to put in that information. If you don't know your CLB ID number or don't know where to find it, we're going to be going into desktop sharing. I can show you, but it's just in your CLB Learning Affiliate back office under the Affiliate Tools. You'll see your link at the top and your number is at the end. But if you don't know what it is, just say don't know or not sure or just don't put anything in there. Just NA because I can look it up for you. But all I need is your name, your email, and the username that you want on your blog. And as I said, I show you an example here. The username is going to be contactlistbuilder.com forward slash username. Okay. So you want to pick that carefully. I recommend that you use your name. 
All right, that's, um, you know, my, mine says Coach Janet, but I, I actually have two of them. I have one that's Janet Legere as well. But uh, So let's talk about monetizing your blog with our new plugin, the WP Quad plugin. I've got another plugin in the blog that I'm looking at adding as well, but I want to look more into it before I do that. But this one, um, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I still don't know everything about it, and I'm really looking for our bloggers to get into their blog and play with it and see what they can do with it, see what kind of magic you can create. This is where you get to, to play a little after you've done all your income producing activities. Okay, this, this isn't what you do instead of your income producing activities. This is what you do after your income producing activities. Okay. When you log into your back office, you may be directed directly to this page. Uh, or not because I've already gone in here and I think it so I'm not sure if if it recognizes that but if you get here and you see this page all right do not upgrade there is no need for you to upgrade this plugin all right so don't please do not all right do not no 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 do not upgrade you're going to click skip uh, with the skip and go to settings all right and if you don't want to use this, if you're not going to add this to your blog, pardon me, that's okay too. You can just totally ignore this and go back to just using your blog, go to your dashboard, just do your posts as usual. Okay, this is not a requirement. This is for those of you who want to um, add some monetization to your blog. So when you go to create an ad, here's what comes up. All right, so as you can see, we got Google AdSense there, we got Google Ad Manager, Yandex Direct, MGit, I don't even know what these things are. Taboola, I've heard of, MediaNet, MediaVine, Outbrain, Infolinks. Now the ones that we can use are going to be the custom code. I'm gonna show you how to add that to your uh, site. We're, we've got an image so that you can put a, a picture uh, with a caption. Uh, the ad rotator, I'll show you how you can add that. Some of these things are for upgraded members. Uh, the random is also something that we can use. So those are the only things that we are going to be talking about today. Those other things, if any of you guys are bloggers and you've used those plugins and you get it to work on our blog, please let me know. Okay, because I would love to share that with our members. But for now, I'm just going to show you some really cool things that can happen with your blog. Sound good? So I think we're going to go live. I'm assuming you guys all see my desktop. Say yes, just somebody. Give me a quick yes in the text chat. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and show you. All right, so here's, I'm gonna go into Don's site. Actually, there's a few things I wanna I want show you, but here's Don's back office because he's not set anything up yet. And we're on his dashboard of his blog, Don Legere. You get down here, WP Quads, and we click on that, and it brings everything up. So when you go to your settings, there's really nothing here that you need to change, okay? Um, I haven't found any of this to do, to be anything I needed to set up. So then we go to ads, and what it wants to do is it wants you to create an ad, all right? And once you, you can go here, when you create an ad, that's when this page comes up with all these great things. Um, I've looked at some of them and I'm going to look in, into all of them or I'll get Dawn to look into all of them. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, what we're going to do is talk about the custom code, the image banner, and uh, we can talk about the ad. So the ad rotator just takes, okay, so that's a, a pro feature. So we can't use that one. There was something else we could use here, the random ads. All right, so here, if you had ads set up, uh, you could have it so it, there's a random ad showing on your page so that it's like a rotator, right? So those are things you can use. So what we are going to talk about here today is I'm going to show you how to set up a custom code and an image banner. All right, so I want to come back over to here is my blog, my coach Janet. Now, if you come down here, this was the last blog post I did. And, you know, I've got pictures on here. You know, you could, this is on the main blog. So this isn't actually my blog post. I need to differentiate. When you go to my main blog, it lists all of my blog posts, right? Here they are. You can see there's my blog posts. All right. However, when I click on this, 
stay tuned. You're going to love this, all right? And it's not perfect because I, I'm still playing with it and I, I would certainly change some of my ads. So we come down here. Oh, look what's here. I have an ad. And I have on here advertisements. You know, isn't that cool? And look down here. We're going to scroll down, scroll. Oh, there's another ad. There's an ad for CLP Learning. And then we're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Oh my goodness. Look, there's an ad for my book, Shameless Self-Promotion. And it even says, see, advertisements. And let's go. Oh, and there's another advertisement down here. So isn't that cool? All right, let me come back in the room. So do you guys see that? Did you see how cool that is that um, you can have ads on your that show up on your post. So when someone goes to read your post, they're going to have random ads. So I'm going to go and show you how to set those up, how to tell how to tell them where to go. <laughs> Isn't that great? You get to tell them where to go. All right. So where do I want to be? All right. I'm going to come back over here to my dashboard, and I'm going to click on the WP ads, WP quads, and you'll see I have four ads set up. I have two that are pictures and two that are the code. All right, so let me go here. I'm going to edit this. You'll see here, there's my Genesis Lifestyle banner. Um, my anchor link here. Hopefully the whole link is there. Yeah, it is. So I'm anchoring it to my capture page. I've told it to center it. Oh, if I go up to the top, when we go to targeting, you know, I can, I can have margins around it. Here's the label that says advertisement. So I, I can just say, uh, visit our sponsor. I could change whatever that is. Um, and I could put where the where this label goes with the picture. When we go to the next page, this is where will the ad appear? And look at this. Look at all the places you can put it. So you can select where it goes on the page. You can select it. Um, the one I did was after so many words by word count. And so then I, I just I added it by so many words. And then I went and looked on the blog to see where it ended up. And you know, it'll go randomly depending on what you put in there for the word count. So you could put the beginning, the middle, the end. So I did three of those and then one that was by word count. Okay, and there we go. That's your, this one is a post type and that's it. So let's go back to the dashboard of our WP quads and we're going to create an ad. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna create an ad with a custom code and so what it wants is either I can put in a text here if I have my own text or HTML. So I'm going to come over here to CLB Learning. This is your CLB Learning members area. Just let me scroll up here. This is the affiliate toolbox. All right. And remember, whoops, I guess it wants me to log in again. Um, we're in our affiliate toolbox. And there is your affiliate link right at the top. And at the very end, I can make that bigger is your affiliate ID number. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to go scroll down here to the bottom. These are our banners and I want to use this banner. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to highlight that code and I'm going to copy that code and I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to paste that code. All right, the alignment, I want it to be centered. I'm going to put a margin around it because I find it gives me a space between my post. Five I didn't find was enough. Add label, I'm going to say, is it our sponsor? Just so you can see where it is. And I want that to be, uh, where am I going to put this one? I'm going to have that be above. Nope, I want it to be below. Okay, we can change that too. So if the ad shows up, all right, so here we are. I want this to be at the beginning of the post. I'm going to go and change the ad that's already at the beginning of the post, or I can create a rotator. And I can say what pages is, I want it on my post pages, so I could change that, right? I could have it on, on all my pages. So there's different pages you can select. So I'm just leaving it like that, and I'm going to publish my banner. I'm going to return. My ad is live. All right, so there it is. Now, which one, because I have one that's at the top and this is it here, okay? So I want, how do I come back to the main page here? This one, so I want to, I'm gonna set this one to draft because I don't want it to be on my page, all right? So we added a new ad and remember when we went here, 
I'm going to refresh the page in a minute. And it was the traffic leads to income. So if I refresh this, there we go. It changed, right? Visit our sponsor. And there's my banner. So I could change that. I can put any banner I want. I can go to any other program I have and grab a banner and it will show up there. All right. Let me see. And really, that's about it when it comes to those. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the other banner too, how to upload a picture, okay? But I want to know if that makes sense. Is that, it's pretty cool, isn't it? And you, you got to let your imagination go for your, here, how you can make that work. Because it, you, you think about it, if you, you could add banners to your blog post um, manually as you do a blog post and put ads in there if you want. This way it puts it in there automatically and it's more like, like an advertisement from uh, Google AdWords and what have you. All right, so I'm gonna go back over to our ads. Oh, did someone, no, nope, Noel's just, Noel's having some trouble. All right, all right, so here we are, and we're going to create a picture ad. All right, so create an ad, image banner. So now I need, I can upload a banner, uh, and then I'm, I'm gonna need a, gra a picture for it, or I mean a link. So that we can click to upload our banner. Now I can either grab a picture that's right here on in my media, okay? Or, um, and maybe I will, maybe I'll just grab this, or I can upload a file from my desktop. All right, so if I click upload files, I can select the file and I can come into here, let's go into my pictures and CLB, and I could, I could pick anything here and I could stick a picture in there, okay? Any picture you have, um, you could just stick in there however you want. So I'm just going to pick, you know, here's one I could pick that's from here for CLB. There's my book I could put in there. I could do a big congratulations. There's my ebook. I could even, there we go. Let's try this one. Because I can resize it as well. All right, so now I've uploaded it and I'm going to select that, okay? Eh. Okay, so where's my banner? All right, I uploaded it. Something went wrong there. Let me do it again. <laughs> Don't really need to do this, do we? All right. I was gonna put my a, a link to my CLB Quick Start Guide. There it is. CLB Quick Start. All right. Oh, there's the link. Oh, it's actually, this is actually my PDF. I thought it was a picture I was uploading, but that's actually my PDF. Um, but, you know, here's a picture I could upload there. Look at that. I'm going to copy this picture, or I'll just select that picture. There we go. Wait, that's big. <laughs> I could resize this picture, so what I would do is resize it in my graphics, but you, you can see here, you don't want to have a picture that big, all right? So let's go a different way, and we're going to upload this this picture. There we go. I'm going to anchor it to my, I'm just going to send this one to my CLB learning. Just for the heck of it. Okay. So that's just going to go to my, um, and here's my layout. I want it to be on the right. And I'm going to put a margin. I like margins. I'm going to add a label. Is it our sponsor? I want that to be above the ad is good. We're going to go to next and I want the position to be at the hmm, middle of the post. All right, and we're going to publish that one. Now let's go see where it is. So I said middle of the post. So I've got this one here. Oh, there it is. It went right beside the one I already had. So you can see, see this is a good experiment, right? I had my book there. Now let's go and remove my book. Yeah. Which one's my book? Nope. And I hope you guys can see that you really can't break this. All right, so there's my book. All right, where can I? It was beside it right here. I'm going to set that to draft. And now when I come to my ad, 
That should be God. There we go. So now it just has my little one. Now I could have set it to be left. Should we try that? All right, so let's go into edit our, our thing and uh, am I in the wrong one here? I'm in the wrong one. I'm in the wrong one. Sorry guys, I want this one. There we go. I want this to align left. Okay, let's see how that comes up. And now we're gonna refresh and it should be over here. And there it is, and that looks better. Okay, so did you see how I played with that? So you can have your blog open in a new window and so you can see where your ad's gonna display. Now, all right, so we've got these ads here. Let's go check another blog post. Hang on here. So I'm gonna go back to my main, because now those ads are gonna show up on all my blog posts. So let's go to my tips on happiness. And there's my, that one. There's, you can see, I don't, this isn't a very big blog post. So I there's like way too many ads. I would never, number one, I would never have this many ads on a blog anyway. Uh, I would probably just have one at the beginning and maybe one in the middle or one in the middle and one at the end. Um, but I wouldn't have this many, but it's cool to see how they get placed and how you can go in and change them, right? Any questions on that? Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a really good uh, plugin for marketing. I think it's, it's going to help. I'm going to have fun playing with it. And right now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go and deactivate some of those ads first, because that's way too many ads on my blog. And I'm just trying to think, this was that one. So I'm gonna set that one to draft. Which one was this one? I'm gonna set that one to draft. That one can stay. Oh, how do I know which one's on draft? It doesn't tell, oh, it says right there. And which one is this ad? Okay, so back to here we can keep that one for now where are we here that one and what's this one all right we'll just keep those two for now let me come back here and see what this blog looks like with just two ads yeah okay so really what i want is nope <laughs> All right, was it this one? Yes, all right. I want this one to be published. And this one to be draft, yes. See, it's hard to tell because when they're up here, I'm there's no way to, I need to know. I guess I need to give them a name, right? You can give them a name when you set them up because this is just add one, two, three, four, five, six. And so now I should have my traffic least income one there, which is good, and Genesis at the end. So one at the beginning, one at the end, and anything in the middle is mine. That was just a when I was doing a post on the call. And so now we're going to come back to my blog and we're going to come to posts. And we're going to write a blog post. Okay, so this is, you can see I've got a bunch. The very first blog post is right there welcome to my contact list builder marketing blog we all have that one so i'm going to add a new blog post now i have it already written here all right all about the clb blogging platform whoops sorry guys <laughs> all right the clb oh i got a plus sign there the clb blogging oops. Now you'll see that this is in, it's in, it shows in blocks. So every time you go to a new thing, it's a new paragraph. You can add a picture here. You can edit the block and what have you. Or you can just leave it as it is. So I'm going to come here. I've already got this blog post written and we're going to, these are the things we're going to talk about on my blog post. So let me just put those in there. 
So that's, those are the things I'm gonna, the topics I'm gonna talk about. I just took this off one of my presentations. So I'm gonna just copy these into my blogs. Blog, oops. Okay, well that's not what I wanted. So I'm gonna undo that. Did you see how I did that? I just clicked that little button there. And then go back here. And let's try this. Copy. Paste. There we go. And I can make that bold. Enter. And, and this is what I would recommend you do, is that you write your blog post or whatever you're going to write in a text file. And then I can highlight this and make it bold. So it's just that the little blocks might get you confused, but what I do is just pretend they're not there. Um, I use them for editing, but I know that I just go to a new block, start writing or typing and paste my information. You know, you get all the formatting comes up when you click on that. And all right, what is the cost to upgrade? And there and let's finish it off with become a member. There we go. All right, now become a member of CLB and discover our community. I probably want to stick a banner here. And so I can upload, I can put in an image or I could put, um, so I'm going to go from my media library. I'm going to don't have a banner there. So I'm going to go because remember I was in my CLB affiliates and I'm just going to copy this image. Do you see how I did that? I just right click and I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to come back to my post and I'm just going to paste it. There it is. Okay. And then I need to put a link on there. So I'm going to send them. Now, normally I would send them to my capture page, but for simplicity purposes, because they're always on, already on my blog, I'm going to put my affiliate link here. All right, so what that's done by doing that, and then I'm going to click on this because that gives me my options, the little down button. I want this to open in a new tab because I don't ever want people to go away from my blog. Like I don't want them to click a link and then the, my blog disappears. I want them to open a new window and go look at that, and then they can come back to this window. And there we go. So then we just click that and we're done. And there we go. Now we have a, a, a blog and I'm going to make this bold. And there we go. All right. So that's it. Very simple blog post. Uh, these are the things we're going to talk about here. All right. And I can come over to here. Now something that we haven't talked about, but one thing you want to set up, where's why is my hive not showing here? Oh, there we go. I'm in the wrong place. All right, so we come down here. I'm going to select my um, categories. So I'm going to put under list building. That's all I need for now. I want to put some tags and I'm going to put CLB learning. I always put CTP talk because it puts it up on the hive network. Um, list building. And I like to put my name because I think I'm important. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to allow comments. Now here's something published to Hive. So if you haven't figured out how to set up with Hive yet, uh, don't worry about that. We have had uh, some training on that. Uh, th what this is going to do is publish directly to the Hive network and the CTP network, which earns you uh, cryptocurrency. So we're all done here. I'm, I'm fine with my blog and I'm going to publish it and publish. And now we're going to view, come back down here. Come here, mouse. Where are you? Where'd my mouse go? And there it is. View post. All right. And there we go. So, oh, look at that. There's my ad that I, I selected, right? So there's my blog post and there's my banner and there's my ad. So isn't that cool? I think that's very cool. All right, I'm gonna come back in the room and see if there's anything else that I need to go over with you guys.
in the blog. Anything that you want to see in the blog? Great to see the latecomers come in. Hello, Aaron. Noel. Any questions? Well, I'm going to come out of desktop sharing. I can always go back in quickly. Author box. Ah, okay. I can do that. Let me show you how to fill out your author box because as you can see, right at the bottom of my blog on every post, it's got author information. So let's go over to here and I'm going to go to my dashboard. Your back office is going to look different than mine because I'm the network operator. So I'm seeing everything. So you're not seeing all that. Over here, once you're in your back office and your dashboard of your blog, you're going to come over here to your users and you should have a user set up here. Okay. Your name should be here. You're going to click on edit. You're going to scroll down and right here, biographical info profile picture. So you can upload your picture. And there you go. Everything is right there. Okay. So you can put, you have, I think there's a maximum word. I'm not sure, but I mean, mine is pretty big. So it's, it's got everything there for you. And then just make sure you save it. So if you're using the hive network, this is where you're going to set up your information, your username and your hive password, your private posting key, and make sure that you update and you'll see here's the AdSense publisher ID. However, because we can't put the code on the website, I don't know that we can make that work, but we're still looking into that. So stay tuned. All right, let me come back in the room. All right, did you see that? That makes sense. Pretty easy, Dusty. All right, don't be afraid to play with your blogs. There's an awful lot back there. There's an awful lot you don't have to pay attention to. We do have quite a few training videos on different parts of the blog. Uh, be, you know, feel free to go and grab those anytime and watch those. I'm trying to get back to... There it is, there it is, there it is. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? That was an awesome call. That was an awesome... And I know that we don't know everything about this plugin yet, and that's perfectly okay, right? Do you see what I mean? Like, you don't have to be an expert at something in order to use it, in order to play with it. I do ask if you do figure out any of those other uh, parts of the WP Quad plugin, please let me know. If you discover anything cool about the plugin, let me know. If you discover any problems, let me know. If we, we find that it's not working or it's really not helpful to our members, we, we can also remove it anytime. And I do have some other plugins I'm looking at adding to help you guys with your blog as well. But that's it for me today. Now it's time for you to take action. For all of you who are already lifetime members, you have a CLB blog. Go break a blog post that talks about what you learned today. Maybe go set up a banner ad that shows up on your blog and you can say, hey, check my blog post, you know, top or bottom, there's the ad showing up, <laughs> something like that. But uh, the video replay of this webinar will be up on YouTube later today. You can go grab that and add it to your blog as well. So, so many things that you can do. You have any questions, you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to contact me. You know that you can get me on just about every platform available. I'm on Skype, I'm on Telegram, I'm on Facebook Messenger, you've got me on my cell phone. Really, you can get me anywhere, pop me an email. Just the worst thing you can do is nothing. If you have a question, come to me. I'll do my best to help you. If you need pushing, if you need a little nudge here and there, feel, feel welcome to come to me. I'll be happy to push you as well. So you guys have yourselves an amazing day and uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Thank you for being here. I look forward to reading your blog posts. Remember to come and share them in the group. That's what it's all about. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon.